All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question beautiful very. Now questions based on constructive algorithms can be tricky and may look vague at times. But this is a relatively simple question. So I'll quickly summarize the question for you. Firstly, they were defined this concept of beauty here. Uh, what they're saying is to get a beauty of an array of non-negative integers, we divide each element by k, round it down and sum up the resulting values, right? So pretty simple definition of beauty. Now what uh, they want to do is uh, given an integer k, we want to find an array A of n non-negative integers. So non-negative means greater than equal to 0, such that beauty is equal to B. Also, sum of elements is equal to S, right? So we have to find any of the array satisfying the above conditions. So given K, we have to find an array of non-negative integers. Very, that is very important, such that sum of elements is S, and the beauty is B, fine? And uh, if you look at the constraints, uh, the constraints are pretty high, like 1E9 and 1E18. So of course, use long, long here. That's one hint. Uh, Okay, what else? For each test case, uh, print a minus one if such array does not exist. Otherwise, print n non-negative integers satisfying the above condition. So the question can be summarized in this one line. You are given a uh, n, k, s, and b, and what you want to find out is you want to find out a uh, array of n integers, and all of them are non-negative, greater than or equals to zero, such that the sum is equal to s, and the beauty, that is summation of a i by k. So this is of course uh, the greatest integer function, rounding down a by k is equal to b. That's what you want to do, right? So that's the question for you. Let's approach this question step by step. So first things first, uh, one observation that you can uh, clearly make here is that all the elements have to be non-negative. Okay, so elements can be non-negative, they can be greater than or equal to zero. So first thing uh, that comes to your mind is you have infinite supply of zeros, right? So in other words, I can write that zeros are infinite. You have as many zeros as you can get. And why this observation is helpful is uh, zeros don't affect zeros don't affect the value of beauty, right? If you see here in this formula, uh, if a value is zero, it's not changing the beauty, right? So that's one observation. Zeros supply is infinite and zeros don't affect the beauty. Okay, what else? What else observations can you can make? You have to make sure that sum of all the elements is S, right? So all in all this S needs to be distributed among N elements, right? So there are one, two, three, so on n elements and this s needs to be distributed among them right uh, that's what you want to do and you want to form the beauty to be okay that's another observation uh, what else along with uh, distributing s you want the beauty that is summation of ai divided by k uh, rounding off to be b right so you want to distribute it but uh, this value should be equal to b fine so how are you going to do it so like constructive algorithm right so everyone can have their own sort of thinking uh, i don't know how you thought this but uh, what i thought is looking at this question i want to uh, form this i have this sum s i want to distribute it and i want to form b right now instead of complicating the matter can i have just a single element to be bk right so i have to form n elements in the end i know that one two three so on till n if i can have a single element as bk and uh, rest of the elements less than k, my job is done, right? So how my job is done is a1 is equal to bk, right? So a1 is equal to bk and rest of them are less than k. That is, they are less than equals to k minus 1. Now, assuming that a1 is bk and rest of the element sum is k minus 1 is equal to our given sum s. So I'm not thinking, I, I simplified my question. I'm not thinking, I took one condition at a time, right? So I was thinking about uh, how can I form the beauty first? Forget about the sum part, we'll come back to it. But if I want to form a beauty to be B, I can have one element to be BK and rest element to be less than K minus 1. So BK by K would give B. And since the rest of the elements are less than uh, equals to K minus 1, this K won't be able to destroy it in any which way this, uh, this summation, this summation that is AI by K for I equals to 2 till N will yield 0. Right? Because the rest of the elements then be K minus 1. So this approach came to my mind. Keep one element as BK and rest elements uh, less than K or less than equals to K minus 1. Fine. So yeah, this seems to be a good approach, right? But when, when, when will this approach uh, not work? When will this approach won't work? Now, first thing is very obvious when this approach won't work. Uh, if you don't have enough sum, right? So now I'm including the another condition here, sum condition. Firstly, I thought about how can I make this beauty? So I thought if I just put one element as BK and rest element less than K minus 1, my job is done. But now I thought that let's pursue this approach a little more. And if you think about it, it makes sense, right? Uh, in which way, if you don't decide to have one element to be BK and distributed any other sense, you have to form a sum of at least uh, BK, right? 
even if you decide to distribute the s in any way you want you have, will have to get a sum greater than equals to bk right uh, to make the b to be b right so what i'm saying is guys uh, you will need to have at least uh, b b b b b k times right otherwise you won't be able to do it so instead of uh, taking that mental burden of how to distribute this kbs and uh, form that b to be b uh, b uh, let's just have it as one element right cool so that's very important uh, you will have to get a sum of bk first and then you will distribute the rest of the elements in a way that the beauty now doesn't exceed i hope you're getting it so what i did what i just said is your first aim is getting the sum of bk okay and then distribute rest of the sum distribute rest of the sum to the element such that your uh, beauty does not exceed b right because once you have the sum of bk in other words you have k number of b's you are definitely sure that now your beauty has become b okay that is a more uh, good way to put it once you may have make sure that you have k number of b's your beauty has definitely become b fine but now you have to distribute the remaining sum that is this s minus bk in a way that the beauty now does not exceed b right so instead of uh, going through how am i gonna for distribute it uh, first which elements and uh, about the distribution next i thought of let's just keep it very simple and make sure that one element is bk and rest of the elements as less than uh, k right okay well, uh, one thing is for sure i guess you all can agree with me that if your sum is less than uh, bk you can never make a beauty uh, to be of uh, b right because if you don't have that uh, bk you don't have kbs uh, you won't be able to make a beauty right so in this case when you don't have enough uh, sum to form bk then uh, you cannot have a beauty of uh, b right so in this case anyway it's minus 1 now what is the other case when you cannot uh, have a beauty uh, to be b so if you see what i did here first i accommodated this condition one of making the beauty b and now i'm including the condition of s so one thing is if you don't have enough sum then you cannot get a beauty the other, other thing is you have surplus sum right so here if you have a surplus here that was dot right you didn't have a much of a sum here but here if you have surplus sum so what is that surplus sum is uh, if you think about it uh, if s exceeds uh, some value what is that value is see what you can do is uh, you will put one element to be bk fine and then you want to distribute the rest of the sum right and uh, you will be able to distribute uh, in a way that the beauty does not go beyond uh, b so how can you distribute in the worst possible manner so all of this will be k minus 1 even if you put all of them to be k minus 1 your beauty will still not exceed because divided like k minus 1 divided by k is still zero if you round it down right so even if you have all the n minus 1 elements of k minus 1 you are still good to go right even if you have bk plus n minus 1 into k minus 1 is still good to go even uh, like uh, you can add n my k minus 1 here with the first guy itself even if you add k minus 1 extra bk plus k minus 1 is still not going to exceed the beauty so what i'm trying to say here is guys see if you have if you have 12 by 3 to be 4 even if you add just 2 to it that is 3 minus 1 right so you here you have 3 into 4 3 into 4 even if you decide to add 3 minus 1 to it you will not exceed right so this will still become 4 so 14 by 3 rounding down still becomes 4 only so that's what i'm trying to explain here even if you add k minus 1 here you will not exceed the beauty value to be b right so all in all what i'm trying to say is if your s is bk plus n times k minus 1 you are still good to go but if you have just some more than this then definitely the beauty will exceed because uh, one of these guys uh, will the the value will increase uh, to b into k plus one like from one point you will gain a beauty value right so from one of these either you put a one here so you will get a k by k so extra one so your beauty will become b plus one right so this is your bounds basically so what i'm trying to say here is you have your bound you need to have the sum to be at least bk but you can afford you cannot even like you cannot have less than this sum but there is also a limit you cannot have more than some sum and that sum is bk plus n times k minus 1 and this actually makes sense in the worst case you can have the rest of the elements to be k minus 1 it will not exceed the beauty and even you can accommodate k minus 1 to the first element bk plus k minus 1 right and after that you will definitely start uh, seeing an increment in the beauty value right so this is your bound of uh, the s right if your s lies somewhere here or here so this you can say the ideal range uh, ideal range or you can say the necessary range the necessary range for s right if your s lies in this range we can uh, definitely construct our array with the given condition what is the pseudo code here 
So if I call it, let's say left and I call this right. First things first, uh, if your sum is less than this L or this sum is greater than R, you can never form an array. Minus one. Else, you can always form an array. Right? Else, yes, you can always form an array. Right? How do you form that array? Uh, that I guess I will better discuss it in code walkthrough. Uh, but I will give you a hint. Like because it is a very implementation specific thing, uh, different people can implement it in their own way. But I will give you a hint how this can be worked out. What can happen in the worst case is, uh, your sum will be equal to this dk plus uh, n into k minus 1. Right? In the worst case, this is what your sum will be equal to. So what you will do is, your first guy, your first guy will be bk plus k minus 1 and then all the other elements will be k minus 1. Right? So what you will try to do is, uh, you will uh, make the first guy, you will try to make the first guy to be equal to bk plus k minus 1 and the rest of the elements, rest of the elements a1 to a n to k minus 1 or if there is no more sum remaining, uh, you have always enough supply of zeros, right? The first guy you will try to make uh, like make it to as big as possible bk plus k minus 1 because that is the maximum you can get for the first guy, right? If you go beyond this, then your beauty will become b plus 1. The first guy will try to maximize it till this part and after that, you will start accommodating the rest of the guys as k minus 1. So that's the main idea. Why are you doing this? Because in the worst case, you can be given sum equal to bk plus n into k minus 1. So in that case, of course, the first guy has to be equal to bk plus k minus 1 and rest of the guys have to be k minus 1, k minus 1, k minus 1, so on, right? And just that idea, this is a constructive idea, right? So this is how I decided to implement it. You can have your own ways of implementing it. Make the first guy to be as close to bk plus k minus 1 as possible and then make the other guys to be k minus 1, k minus 1, k minus 1 and if you are, if you run out of sum, you can uh, have zeros. So enough about this, I guess I'll be able to explain you in a better sense in the code walkthrough. So let's just uh, quickly go through it. Okay guys, so time for the code walkthrough. So I have taken the input and implemented the Darth or surplus supply conditions. If you don't have enough sum or you have more than enough sum that you require, then you cannot form an answer. This we already discussed. But what if your sum is in the required necessary bounds? Then you can always uh, form that array. You can always form a beautiful array, right? That's the name of the question. So first things first, uh, I'll I have to create n elements, right? So what I have to do is I have to first come up with the first guy. Now the constructive idea that we have come up with is uh, try to make sure the first guy is as big as possible, but not uh, so big that the beauty goes beyond uh, bk. So we'll try to make the first guy to be bk plus k minus one. The only reason for this is we are being greedy that uh, even if the worst case arises that sum is equal to this uh, part, uh, you are sure that your array is formed. That's the only reason why I'm trying to do this. Okay. And if you think that this little bit about it, there is no concrete proof required about it. This works, right? So the first guy, uh, what I'll try to form is, let me call it A0 or A1. That's fine too. Yeah, let's call it A1. So A1 is uh, K into B, right? Now A1 is K into B, S minus equals to K into B. I didn't uh, subtract uh, K minus 1. I didn't add K minus 1 because what if you don't have that much sum? Because it can happen, right? The sum can be exactly equal to K into B. So I'll have to subtract K minus 1 only if I can, right? So what I'll do is, if the sum is uh, greater than equals to, if sum is greater than equals to k minus 1, that is you have enough sum available, then only you are going to do it, right? So if you have uh, that available, what you can do is, you can add to even k minus 1, right? Then you can uh, add k minus 1 to it, and then you can subtract uh, k minus 1 from this, right? Why in this uh, step first? Because it can happen that your sum is exactly k into b. So you don't want to exactly, or maybe less than k into b plus k minus 1. Then you may not be able to do this, right? Else, uh, in this case, so when it is less than k minus one, what you can do is, any which way it is less than k minus one, so you can add, you can add s to it. It's less than k minus one, so the beauty is still not getting affected. So b into k plus something less than k minus one still make sure the beauty is b, right? So you can add some to even. That's fine. And then uh, if you have add everything, then of course some becomes zero, right? So some will become zero. Cool. So now you have got your first guy, so you can print happily your even. Uh, followed by space, right? Not new line. Followed by space. Now, what about rest of the elements? So you have print the first element, but you have uh, the rest of the elements remaining, right? So i equals to two, i less than equals to n, i plus plus, and n minus one elements are remaining. So maybe I can just uh, start it like ai. I'll update it in this iteration, and then in the end, I can just print this ai followed by a space. And uh, after the for loop ends, I can print a new line. Fine. So let's calculate this ai. How am I gonna calculate this ai? Until you have a supply of k minus 1, until uh, you have a k minus 1, uh, like k minus 1 uh, value remaining, you can add it, right? So I'll try to make elements with k minus 1 values. 
until you have k minus 1 use it right so if s is uh, greater than equals to k minus 1 s is greater than equals to k minus 1 what you can do is you can make sure ai is k minus 1 and s is minus equals to ai right? or minus equals to k minus 1 doesn't really matter here if you don't have enough sum that any which way uh, you can make sure that uh, ai is equal to s so if it this s in this case s this s will be something less than k minus 1 but it doesn't really matter it still doesn't affect the beauty and uh, the sum can be again made equals to 0 right or s minus equals to a if you want to maintain the consistency here but any which way it will turn into 0 okay that's for sure and if the sum has already become 0 at some point this will make sure the sum is still 0 after a point when you don't have k minus 1 you'll always come in this else the sum will be 0 and uh, ai will always be equals to 0 fine yeah i guess that's that let me just uh, quickly run it now we may not get the exact answers with code forces but from what i can see is this minus ones are getting matched perfectly and the beauty and the sum values are also perfectly aligned so we need not worry about it so here you can say 19 and here uh, 31 plus so you can say this 38 and uh, here in the last guy it is perfectly fine and you can verify it by yourself that uh, beauty also works fine so i'll submit it it works uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one